Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the Ballon d'Or winner 2021, Jesse Lingard. Anyways, guys, all the jokes aside, Jesse Lingard is the man on fire right now. After Leo Messi, it's gonna be Jesse Lingard. Haha! <laughs> the last Ballon d'Or was won by Leo Messi a couple of seasons back, and last season they didn't give anybody the Ballon d'Or. Lewandowski was going to win it, but the ceremony didn't happen because of the pandemic, and this season. They are going to give the Ballon d'Or to Jesse Lingard. Haha! <laughs> he is on fire at West Ham. Jesse Lingard under Mois is like Ronaldo under Sir Alex Ferguson. At Man United, most of the time Lingard was a meme. He was basically an insult if somebody ever compare you to jesse lingard that means something funny something really not serious he's a dancer he is a musician he is such and such not a football player but look what he's doing right now 28 years old on his prime and he's killing it in the premier league with with west ham and david Moyes. sometimes it just takes you to change the manager, to change the environment and start performing. Many players are going to develop in a normal cycle. What I mean by that is that not everybody is going to be Mbappe, Messi, Ronaldo, Haaland. Because today, everybody want to see every player perform to the level of Messi, Ronaldo Mbappe there are not many of them around the world like right now only two of them Haaland and Mbappe right how many players are around the world thousands and thousands of them that tells you that not everybody is a generic freak and we have to give those players time to develop normally and mature naturally not everybody is going to mature at 17 like Messi, Fabregas, Ronaldo, Mbappe, Haaland. The majority of players are going to mature when they are 26, 28 and even 34. Didier Drogba became a top of his art when he was already 33, 34 years old. Jimmy Vardy, Patrick Bamford. The list is long. Those players are getting better with the age. But when they were younger, nobody wanted to give them even a chance. The moral of the story here is never say never in your own life or in other people's lives. Because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow and you are not God. You can't predict the future. West Ham are fourth in the Premier League right now. It's unfortunate for me even to say it because I'm a Chelsea fan. I wanted to finish top four, but I still believe we're going to finish top four. But if I have to back one team to finish top four, and this is just my wish, it's going to be West Ham. They could do the Leicester. Remember a few, few years back when Leicester just did the impossible? This time, they are not going to win the league or anything. But for a team like West Ham to qualify for the Champions League, my goodness, it's going to be the event of the season. And I really wish that they finish top four instead of Leicester City. Leicester already did their time. They already made history. Now it's, uh, it's time for another team to make history. And this is why we love the Premier League, because anything is possible. Davis Moyes deserves a lot of respect. The guy been disrespected a lot since he joined Man United. 
he became like a meme people mocking at him and saying how crap he been and all that but now i think uh, moise is restoring his pride and people started rating him because of a great job he's doing with uh, west ham united so guys let me know what you think about the phenomenon of west ham united and jesse lingard do you think jesse lingard is performing good because he found his level i heard that a lot lately that he just found his level he's playing in the club of his level what is your definition of level i mean level means costing a lot of money or playing for a rich club it's so confusing do you think in a so-called top club everybody has the same top level think about it as a chelsea fan i think the level thing becomes just a mindset is a theory that people try to bring on the table every time we talk about the player that we don't like he's not our level Tammy Abraham, for example, because he didn't cost a lot of money, but people will praise Morata, Higuain, or Timo Werner, okay? Even when Tammy Abraham is scoring goals more than them, he's always going to be not the Chelsea level on paper because he didn't cost anything, because he's English, because he's from the academy. So, we have a preset mind that certain players are not such and such level. So level at my club Chelsea means you cost a lot of money, a big transfer fee, and also you have a shiny name, a big name already in the world of football, and you are from another league. You know, if you have a very cool name and you are from another league, and you scored few goals and have a very good video on YouTube, you are the man and you are the Chelsea level. We don't value anything free at Chelsea Football Club. If you didn't cost anything, that means you are not the Chelsea level. So I'm curious, let me know what is your definition of level at your club because i know it's not only chelsea fans in this channel we have fans from all over the world so in your club what is your definition of level for me i believe that there are so many players out there that we don't even know their names that can come and walk in the so-called big teams and start performing immediately with the right coaching the right system they can make it work easily but the big teams always like to spend money they like to buy the finished articles instead of waiting for their own players to develop they like to bully the so-called small teams by getting all their best players because they are big because they got the money so money talk nothing else here